Ah, to live life surrounded by beauty. In a beautiful house, in beautiful countryside, with beautiful cars and beautiful people all around you. Inspirational. Mind you, you can always make up for an ugly face by taking your top off. No, not me, the car. Not that it actually is an ugly face, surprisingly. My expectations were not high. I was never a big fan of the old Astra Cabriolet, and if I'm honest, I was expecting this one to be a bit of a pram. But it's not, not by a long way. It actually looks quite mature and classy. I think the design really works. In common with the Astra Coupe, the Cabriolet is going to be built in Turin, and in common with the Coupe, it was styled by Bertoni. They'll be building it as well. That probably explains why it looks really pretty nifty. Now, obviously, in the world of the Cabriolet, image is everything. That's why you buy one of these things. And the Astra does look very good. But this is more important when it comes to image. The key fob. Press the button, hold it down, et voila, open air. If you really want to impress your mates, that's the way to do it. What do you reckon, big fella? Huh? Yeah. It's not the fastest electric roof in the world, but it is going to be fitted as standard on all Astra Cabriolets. The interior is exactly the same as you find in the coupe and I was a bit confused because it looks completely different and I think it's nothing more than having no roof means you've got to load more light in. In the coupe it's a bit gloomy and a bit boring. Here it just looks sensible, classy, discreet and really very good. There are two engine choices, a 1.8 litre which we've got today and a 2.2 litre which is a bit more powerful but really it's more to do with giving more torque. This does very well for a 1.8 in a car that, remember, is going to weigh more than the coupe because of the extra strengthening to keep it rigid. Even Vauxhall wouldn't claim that there isn't any scuttle shake, but there's not too much. In a market where fun, frivolity and image is seen as everything, the Astra is actually surprisingly grown up and pleasantly sophisticated. With prices starting from, what, £17,500, it's certainly not ultra-competitively priced, but then it doesn't have to be, because Vauxhall only expects to sell about a thousand of these things a year in the UK. But what is surprising is what will sell it, because when people are making that £17,000, £18,000, £19,000 purchase, the thing that clinch the deal, I reckon, this, a key fob that probably costs Vauxhall maybe 50p to make, but it'll clinch the deal every time you watch. Anyway, it's like rain to me.